Hi guys, Action 007 Cinema here. Warning, spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap one of the best comedy horror movies released in 2006, called Black Sheep. The film tells the story of a family who lives herding sheep, but something strange happens to their farm. What if that strange thing happened because someone had done something to the farm? Let's not be curious. Instead, let's get right to the story. The film begins with a boy named Henry, who lives with his family and owns a sheep farm in New Zealand. That afternoon, Henry, his father, and his friend Tucker are herding their sheep. Henry has his favorite sheep and always carries it wherever he goes. When he comes home, he realizes that the sheep has disappeared. He decides to come to the sheep storage warehouse to look for his sheep. At the place, he meets his older brother, named Angus. He deliberately makes a cruel joke involving Henry's favorite sheep and makes it into a mask to scare him. A short time later, their aunt tells them that their father has died because of an accident. After that incident, 15 years have passed. Henry grows up and no longer lies with his family because of the trauma and phobia of sheep due to the two incidents in the past. Now, he returns home only to sell the farm from his father's inheritance to Angus because his aunt and his brother have taken care of the farm. Upon Henry's arrival, his aunt is very happy to be reunited with him. He immediately meets his brother to talk about their farm, but unbeknownst to Henry, Angus is conducting a secret genetic experiment on the sheeps with scientists. On the other hand, a pair of environmental activists named Grant and Experience arrive at the location of the experiment because they are aware of Angus' actions. Thus, they plan to steal the experiment's results so that Angus could not resume the experiment. After Grant manages to steal it, he doesn't realize that the experiment he has stolen is a failed experiment. In fact, the scientists would throw away the failed experiment results. Grant, who is caught stealing, frantically escapes but by accident, he falls. He unintentionally releases the mutant plum and it infects him. The lamb runs to the field and infects the other sheeps. On the other side, Henry meets Tucker. Because he has a fear of sheep, he never returns to the sheep farm anymore. As a result, his aunt tries to persuade Henry by asking him to accompany Tucker to the farm. Finally, he sets out for the farm, but they are confronted by a sheep on their route there. It looks really strange. Then, Tucker tries to approach the sheep, but at the same time, Experience has stolen a rifle from their car. Then she points a gun at Henry and Tucker. Experience does that because she initially thought Tucker and Henry are Angus people who have sacrificed the sheeps for research. After some time, Experience believes, and the three of them rush away to investigate the farmhouse. While they are investigating, Henry finds a sheep in the house. He is terrified and closes the door quickly. Those who witness Henry try to calm him down, but they are taken aback when they see a farmer dead and the sheep trying to break through the door. They have just realized that the sheep has been infected, then Tucker immediately shoots the sheep twice. They rush to leave by car after the sheep has died, but they are surprised to find an infected sheep in the car, which attacks them right away. Tucker tries to avoid the attack from the sheep by being forced to leave the car and get out of it. Meanwhile, Angus is driving around the ranch, but he is confronted by Grant, who is walking aimlessly, and he gets out of the car to ask him to leave. Grant, who is half-sheep now, expresses his frustration with Angus about his experiment. After that, he quickly bites Angus's hand and runs away. On the other hand, after their car has been destroyed, the three of them consider and relate this bizarre event to Angus's research. In the middle of their conversation, Tucker feels a wound on his leg and he tries to check and open his shoes, but he is surprised to find half of his legs have turned into sheep's feet, concluding that he has been infected. A flock of sheep appears at the same time and instantly approaches them. Finally, they decide to seek refuge in Angus's laboratory. Henry and Tucker realize that Angus has conducted an inhumane experiment. Henry regrets the actions done by his brother, but Angus does not care about it. He is willing to do this all just for profits. In the end, Henry and Experience rush away from the laboratory. 
Taka is detained for investigation after they know that his legs have changed. While they are outside, a flock of sheep blocks and runs towards them. They are frightened and take refuge in a place with a hole in the middle with barriers around it. The sheep forces their way into the barrier, but Henry, who is caught off guard, slips and almost falls into the hole. Angus refuses to help and leaves them. Experience is not strong enough to hold Henry, and in the end, they both fall to the bottom of the hole where there are carcasses or traces of the failed experiments discarded in that place. They try to find a way to get out with the light of a makeshift candle, and two of them finally make it out. Meanwhile, seeing Tucker has turned into a sheep, the scientist eventually tries to inject him with liquid from one of the mutant sheep that manages to turn Tucker human again. The scientist then gives Angus the antidote so that he does not transform into a sheep, but unexpectedly, the sheep waits for him on the road. He just realizes that the outside has turned chaotic. The scientist tries to escape into the forest, but the sheep successfully chase and eat him to death. On the other hand, Angus is giving a presentation to the businessmen about the genetic engineering of sheep. He shows them a sheep which has been experimented on, but a group of infected sheep comes to attack all the guests shortly afterward. They are frightened and run away, but the sheep manage to catch and eat them. Thus, some have been infected and turn into sheeps. From the chaos, Angus escapes with the experimented sheep, while Henry and Experience are picked up by Henry's aunt and return them home to hide. When they get home, they are attacked by a very big mutant sheep, none other than Grant, who has mutated perfectly into a sheep monster. With their efforts, they finally manage to defeat him. After successfully defeating him, the infected sheep smell their existence, and the sheeps attack their place. Now they are trapped, and Henry is trying to find a way out and asking for help by contacting the police. But apparently, Angus has already hidden himself in the room with the sheep of his experiment, and all the phones have been sabotaged by him. As a result, there is no way to contact the police. Then, Henry and his aunt rush to hide upstairs and warn Angus to go into hiding but he doesn't care about the warning, and he flies a plane to spread the virus to everyone. At that point, Henry realizes that Angus and himself have been infected, thus the sheep are no longer attacking them. Eventually, he will use the opportunity to pursue Angus and part ways with experience and his aunt. Of all these incidents, Henry manages to fight his fear of sheeps to stop the crime committed by his brother. After separating, Henry pursues his brother, but Angus has turned into a very big mutant sheep, and the two brothers fight. However, with Angus transformed into a sheep monster, Henry isn't able to deal with it. But before long, their shepherd dog comes, then with its instinct, he barks at Angus to hold him back. Because Angus has turned into a sheep monster, his sheep's nature obeys the shepherd dog's cue commands. At the same time, when Angus is heating the plane's engines, the plane has been on and comes closer to him, thus injuring him with its propeller, but the dying Angus manages to get back up. He wants to hurt Henry from behind, but suddenly Tucker arrives and gives the antidote to Angus and Henry. Angus has become a human again, but he goes mad and comes to a group of sheeps to ask him to infect himself again. As a result, the sheep smell his blood and devour him. Finally, all the sheep are gathered, Henry, who sees it, takes the opportunity to burn some of them with matches. The next day, the remaining antidote from Tucker is given to the survivors to turn them human again, including Grant. In the end, Henry and Experience become lovers, and the farm is taken over by Henry, Tucker, and Henry's aunt. The scene moves to their shepherd dog that is now bleating, indicating that it has been infected too. From this movie, we can learn not to act selfishly and obstinately for our own sake, as this can affect those around us, including ourselves. What would you do if you were in their position? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching, and as always, see you next time.